Hello again. Uh, we're back in the project. As you can see, the engine is out, and we have all the space here that we are going to be using for the electric motor, the electric components. Um, this is the space we have. Uh, make sure you check the hood if it opens enough to let you get the engine out. In my case, I didn't have to remove it. It opened big enough to let me get the engine out without removing it. It saved me some time. Um, again, just a reminder, make sure you measure the engine because that's the space that you're going to have for the electric motor. Uh, in this case, I have about 20, 20 and a half inches and I was originally going to go for a Warp 9 motor which is about 20 inches but I'm thinking that it's going to be too big for my car so I'm thinking now to go with the uh, Impulse 9 engine or motor which is a little smaller even though it has almost the same uh, power. Okay. The activity that I'm working on is splitting the transmission and the motor of the, the engine and we need to extract the clutch and the uh, flywheel because we're going to need those in the electric conversion. Um, let me show you again what I was telling you before. These are the anchors that you need to look for in your uh, motor when you um, try to get it out. This is one of the anchors maybe a little tricky to find but here's one here's another those are the ones you need to tie to the, um, to the uh, chains there is another anchor here so you know when you identify them this is another anchor and once you get your engine out you may want to put it on some cardboard because it's very likely that it's going to leak some oil and you don't want it on your garage floor. As you can see also, this engine, as I say, is busted. That's why uh, this is a perfect car to convert to an electric car. Yeah, the, the engine is already gone, so it's a, it's a very good car. But the transmission that we're going to use is still good. The clutch that we're going to use is still good. So we want to make sure that you are careful with those when you're working with them because uh, those are going to still be used in the conversion. Uh, we're going to go into more detail as the work progress because until now it's pretty much standard mechanic, nothing new. From this point on, we are going to go into more detail in the conversion. Uh, what's next, as I said, is to split this transmission, get the clutch out, and then take the transmission and the clutch to a specialty store that will build the adapter plate of the engine or the, the electric motor to adapt it into the uh, transmission. Uh, I'll show you the next video when I once I get the adapter plate and the couplers uh, and that will be the next video.